Sportsman's Adventures is presented by Yamaha. Naples is one of the hidden gems of Southwest Florida. Great access to beaches, a fantastic city pier, Fifth Avenue shops and restaurants, and home to some of the best charter captains in the biz. One of those captains is Mike Avenon. We have had the opportunity to fish with Captain Mike on more than one occasion, and he definitely has choice spots for all the good stuff. Along for this adventure is Sarah Malia. You might recognize her as one of the fill-in co-hosts yep. of the Florida Insider and Texas Insider Fishing Reports. But don't let the good looks fool you. Recently, she made history as the first female master angler of the Quest for the Crest Sailfish Tournament Series. It's a pretty big deal. As a native of the Florida Keys, she is on the open water most days and is used to pulling on big fish off the bottom. Only a mama could love that mouth. Bringing home the snapper. Hey, look at that. You pulled it. What? Uh, Crotch it. Hustle up, girl. What's wrong with you? Let's see some of the mad gun skills. All I see is a lot of grunting and groaning, not a lot of... You gotta put some horsepower behind it. Oh, swing and a miss. Nope, swing and a miss. Swing a miss. Come on, Sarah. He's down there waiting for you. I'm out. You're out? Out of ammunition. What you got, Sarah? I don't know. I think it's a fish. Oh, He's so cute. A red snapper. A little a mutton. Mutton, mutton snapper. Mutton snapper. We got a, a mutton snapper. Mutton. Baby mutton. You know what's gonna happen to him? You bring a girl from the Keys to the Ooh. coast. What she do? Bring catch a Keys fish. Mutton snapper. It's all right. Yeah. I bring the mutton to you. Uh oh. He might uh -oh. be a keeper. I think he is. He was a little feisty one. Oh. Right, you know where he's going right now? Oh. In the box. He's going home with us. Oh. Whoa. All right, we better get there. Back we go, Pop Mike. Is pulling on another one there. You got a sea monster on over there? No. Nope. You'll be alive, little girl. What was that? The mine on? Uh, okay. What you got, Pops? I don't know yet. A cramp in my boudoir. What did we catch to the um the mutton on? Squid, whole squid. There you go, girl. Mike, what you got? You brought me to the fish house. I'm telling you, we're going grocery shopping today. We're going grocery shopping. I see some hungry people. We yeah. want to feed the hungry people in Naples. Okay. All right. What do I Looks have? Looks like you got a nice red group ball. Yeah! I think you got groceries, baby. There we go! There we go! Murph doggy! Red, Ricky Red Rod. Look what his face, big fish on the Ricky Red Rod. That's, That's how you start out a new, boom. That's a a nice new fish. Line. A new line of rods right there. I like it. The grouper season, we taking it's him? grouper season, he's going home. Actually, red groupers are open year round. Hold on, I'm getting interrupted here. You get? <laughs> oh, Papa. Come on, Papa. There you go, Papa. Mike. Don't let him get Put you. Put the heat on me here. That's it. About to snatch it out of my hands. <laughs> Holy you know, kamoly. Now let me explain to you how we set the drags when you come here to fish with Mike. All the way. You just tighten them down as much as you can by hand. Then you take a pair of pliers and continue to tighten the drag. <laughs> and then you go, then you go, you know, you have a 20 pound rod fish and 60 pound braid. I got something. You got something? Get it, girl. Doubled up. Look, looks like you guys have some kind of weird dance going on back to back, Ben. <laughs> the fish Look dance. at that red grouper. Oh. 
Mike, where do you want these fish to go? Right there in that box by your feet. Okay. I'm standing by. Got, oh, look at this button, Rick. Oh, Rick, I'm look right at here. This button snapper here. Looky, looky. Look at this Take snapper. Take for me. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> there. He sees your old button and raises you too. <laughs> Come on now. How do you like those VMC hooks? Man, that's tight. I know you were like, you know, this is our second time getting the fish together and to third time, third already. time. <laughs> and after two times, I really think I felt like I understood your fishing, you know, what yep. you do every day. So I prepared for it by bringing some serious tackle. You know, I know one time we fished with Lauren, we had hook issues because I didn't, I wasn't prepared. I didn't, I brought seven O's thinking we're going to be snapper fishing. Grouper. Well, this time I brought some real serious ammunition. Well, you know what? With braided line, you're putting a lot more pressure on the hook. There's no stretch and there's no, no relief. Let me grab that fish from her there. Okay. Um, but there's just no stretch in it. There's no give. Oh, nice there, grouper girl. Is it bigger than Rick's? Nope, not yet. <laughs> Everybody what wants to beat Daddy. Fire right back. But I gotta tell you, look one. at this, Sarah. Look, That's isn't nice that beautiful? One. Look at this. Yes. That's the house of red right there. We're eating good tonight. Yeah, man. Fried and baked is what this is. That's right. <laughs> Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Rapala. Another great day. Costa Sunglasses. See what's out there. Okuma. Inspired fishing. VMC. Your expert in hooks. And Startron. Cures and prevents fuel problems. An entirely new species of extreme predator is moving offshore. The Yamaha 5.6 liter V8 XTO offshore outboard. Extreme big block thrust and power in the industry's first direct injection four-stroke. Quiet, efficient, powerful, and proven Yamaha reliability. More than an outboard, it's a fully integrated power system. The all-new Yamaha V8 XTO Offshore. As close as you're gonna get to a sure thing for catching billfish is Guatemala. They're here, man. This has been a 20-year run, buddy. These things haven't left, there's no cycle. When it comes to sail fishing, this is the real deal. The amount of sailfish here is ridiculous. Building Conservation Trust, or BCT, is Coastal Conservation Association's national habitat program. BCT is striving to be the largest program of its kind in the United States by restoring degraded habitats, creating new habitats, advancing the science of coastal habitat and marine fisheries conservation, fostering habitat stewardship, and educating coastal communities of the value of conservation. Visit www.buildingconservation.org to learn more on how you can make a difference. <laughs> oh, like a stalemate, I'm about to lose. Oh. Oh. So Mike, what's the big mistake everybody makes when they're fishing like this? Oh, man. Well, the biggest mistake you see with the circle hook is they want to jerk. It's just a natural oh. instinct. There you go, bud. Double up. Instinct to jerk on it with that oh. circle hook and you pull the hook right out of the fish's mouth. Right. Oh, I came off oh, again. Oh, man. My bait is gone. So you with the circle hook, are... you just want a reel. Yeah. You do a pretty good demonstration with a cup. Shows real good on why you don't, you don't jerk on that thing. Good thing about a circle hook too, you know, 
if you miss them with a circle hook, a lot of times you don't sting them. You can drop it right back and get a second shot at them. Right. Boom. Fishing on uh, credit. Fishing on huh? credit. Oh, that's a nice, nice. fish there, Mike. Oh, God. Get him, Rick. That's a nice one. Get him, Rick. Oh. oh. Look at that. All oh, the air just I came out of him right there. I'm going to have to sharpen the hooks on this. That's a nice hey. one. Got him that time, Bub. I think they're grabbing the middle of the jig, the jig and missing the treble hook on the back. Oh. Just think. Look how he matches that red rod. There you go. Ricky Red Rod and Ricky Red Snubble. Man, they got such a beautiful color to them. Yeah, they do. All right, just amazing. get him back I'm gonna there. I'm going to try to turn him loose here. Oh. Look at that. It's like a magic trick. He gone. I All tell right. you, I think we did the right move, Mike, with these rods. They got a lot of backbone, but a light tip Thank so you. that we can cast lures or, you, you know, in this case, you're feeling the jig hopping. Well, it's so look sensitive. At, look at my girl here. Sliding in. Look at that. You see how she just jumped yeah, right that. between the two of them. She like jumped in and you she went boom, boom, <laughs> out of the way, boys. Here we go. Mine is hot right here. Is that enough? Enough. Different. She's coming Bring in. Up the gunnel. That's all right. All of a sudden, you see Captain Mike's feet as he's going over for <laughs> it because she gave him a little extra shove. A couple bows here and there. How about it? Good Napa. Job, buddy. That's a nice one. Yeah, man. Whether you're keeping them or not, they're they're definitely fun to catch, especially on the light tackle. Yeah. And they don't have to be a 10, 15 pounder to be fun to catch, you know? Even the three, four, five pound snappers pull really hard. Bye now. Down he so, goes. So, I'm gonna have to sharpen this hook. I can tell. It's a big, thick treble. A little tiny mouth. It's sharp, but if it won't stick in my nail, there's no way you got. Me. I'm gonna. It's got a VMC perma steel hook, so I'm gonna give it a little tug on my. Get him, Mike. You know what, Rick? What's that? I'm getting tired. You're getting tired. My arms are getting sore. We'll give the rod to Sarah. <laughs> That's what we brought her for. So the big oh, guns are here. That's right. My guns are going to look like her guns when I'm done. Sun's out, guns out. That's right. So you can see Mike's got one on with the circle hook. But I was getting lots of bites. Oh, that's a nice, nice red fish. snapper, Good Mike. Job. Good for you. All right. Look at this one, Sarah. So check this out, Rick. Wow. You always wonder what red snappers are feeding on out here, and people don't realize it. You get schools of, big schools of sardines and cigar minnows out here in great big balls, and that's what actually draws these fish to some of these spots. Wow. I don't know if that's a goggle eye or a cigar minnow, but you get huge piles of them out here. <clears throat> All right, let him go. Dang. That red color in that cobalt blue water is just, it's not something you're going to forget. Sarah, when you close your eyes tonight on the pillow, you're going to be seeing that red color against that blue. I wish I was seeing him on my dinner plate tonight, but he, he gets to live another day. Right? Don't worry, his days are numbered. So obviously when you're fishing with a J hook and an artificial lure, bucktail jig, whatever it may be, sometimes you can tell I was getting lots of bites. Sometimes those bites are because they're hitting the jig up here. And the way, by nature, the way this jig does is it goes down face first, and then as we start to jig it, it comes up t kind of twisting and jumping and flashing in the water. But the thickness of these VMC perma steel hooks, I'm gonna take a little of that thickness out. I was, you know, the snapper has a little bit of a hard mouth there in the corner. It's not like a circle hook where you just reel and it comes tight. So we're gonna sharpen these just a little. How I'm testing it is I see if it'll stick in my thumb and hold. Now I know that it's sharp. Sharpen always towards the point. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Power Pole, Swift, Silent, Secure, Contender Boats, always in the game. 
Building Conservation Trust and the Coastal Conservation Association, partners in conservation. Casa Vieja Lodge, experience five-star angling in beautiful Guatemala. Williamson Lures, for the Pelagic Playground. And Suffix, always use the best line. Remember the glory days of gasoline? It's just not made the same anymore. Kick your gas into gear with StarTron. Pump up the performance in all of your engines. Cure the problems of ethanol with the power of enzymes. And maximize your mileage every time you drive. Kickstart your engines with StarTron. It's one of the most ancient forms of hide-and-seek known to man. And nobody knows how to play the fishing game better than the backcountry guides and offshore captains of the Florida Keys and Key West. Ready or not, here we come. For the bass that thinks it's a bulldog, for the walleye that thinks it's a freight train, for the tuna that thinks it's a torpedo, for the tarpon that thinks it's a tarpon. You need the mono that thinks it's a braid. Suffix Advance, new advanced mono with HMPE braid molecules for strength, abrasion resistance, and low stretch. Suffix Advance, the mono that thinks it's a braid. Thanks for watching Sportsman's Adventures. You can catch all the happenings, contests, and appearances by visiting us on sportsmansadventures.com. There you can find us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, but best of all, you never have to miss a show because you can find full episodes of Sportsman's Adventures along with tips and techniques, bonus clips, and even some bloopers. Also, if there's a product that we use during the show, that you would like more information on, you can find links to our sponsors at the bottom of the home page. <laughs> you keep getting so lucky with that jig. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Come on, girl. I'm one of the best jiggers in all the land. <laughs> Look at that mangrove snapper. There you go. Nice. Who you, who you, you ain't messing with no children around now. here. Look. Look nice Boom. Just thought I'd go ahead and add another, check another snapper box on today's Sportsman's Adventures. Got the mangrove snapper, the mutton snapper, the red snapper. Just call me the Snapper King. <laughs> That's a nice one. You know where he's going. Right in that box. <laughs> there ain't no catch and release I on snap mangrove snappers. Francais. He just doesn't know it yet. His middle name is Francais. Francais. <laughs> is he French? He, he, he sprinkles it's some a French snapper. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Mango. Doubled up. Yep, that's what it's all about. Double, double on the red oh, Ricky. snapper. Yeah. You got to get this situation. You guys are pumping and winding in unison. That's right. Synchronized pumping. Whoa. See if we can make it a triple. Come on, Papa. That color. I cheated. I didn't triple go that header. Far. Triple header. Double, fella. triple, bubble. Triple header. Ugh. Whoa. That's a nice snapper there. That's a nice wow. one. Pretty fish. Here comes yours. Yours looks a little bit bigger. Ooh. Nice fish. 
Nice, guys. Let's, let's wait until Rick Rick's gonna up. try to one-up us. <laughs> per usual. Let's Take see what off. you got. Let's get them off. Oh, right. we're going for the triple. Hold out. Oh, oh. Taking yeah, some take drag. Take it to the tool shed there. Oh. He's working that, that new rod. Like <laughs> I'm going to put this one in the well for right now. We'll deal with Sarah's. Just to keep his gills wet. You know, you and I already have our fish up while somebody else is uh, mm -hmm. <coughs> sharpening Rolling my hooks. Around. Sharpening hooks. <laughs> but look what the difference is. He ain't coming off. Papa got a big one there. With that shiny new rod. Looks like the tax man paid us Ooh. a visit. Mine got vented the old fashioned way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time to release him. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Ameritrail. Load, launch, relax. Maverick Boat Group, makers of premium boat brands Maverick, Hughes, Pathfinder, and Cobia. Soft Science. Supreme Comfort Footwear. The American Fishing Tackle Company. Any fish, any water. Since 1958. The Florida Keys and Key West. Come as you are. And Garmin. Join the club. new species of extreme predator is moving offshore. The Yamaha 5.6 liter V8 XTO offshore outboard. Extreme big block thrust and power in the industry's first direct injection four stroke. Quiet, efficient, powerful, and proven Yamaha reliability. More than an outboard, it's a fully integrated power system. The all new Yamaha V8 XTO offshore. Come on, Sarah. Come on, Sarah. How you like this fishing over here? Drop, get I a bite right it. away. Huh? I love it. We're not waiting for something to swim under a kite at 30 feet below it and look up and see. Oh, I think I'll go up there and eat it. This is full contact fishing. Ugh, full body workout. Yep. Doing good. Like breaking a sweat. Where is this? Thing Whoa. At? What are you doing over there? Oh! Holy ah. cow, look at the size of that. Jeez. Let's let him dangle till we get Rick's up. We'll All release right. them both at the same time. Here. I'm okay until we get those little sudden bursts back towards the hole. Ugh. See the veins popping out of my neck. Oh. What, Mike? I hear the grunt. Oh. I'm wearing a hole in my leg. We have oh. a belt if you need it, Rick. No, I'm good. I'll just take it like a man. <laughs> <laughs> Amberjack. Oh, no. See him down there. Color. Yep. I'm gonna come over and join you. The honey Please. hole. Look at the size of these things. <laughs> wow. Like a pair of bookends. Oop. Well, that's a dandy, Rick. Yeah. Nice. Watch this. We're gonna two handed these. A double. Relief. Yeah. That's a lot of red there, buddy. <laughs> God. That's a lot of red. I think this is probably my personal best right here, boss. That's a, that's a nice fish. Wow. You got his and hers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. 
this side of the boat's on all revved up. Okay. That's a nice pair of fish. Yep. That hook is really, that VMC, I'm get, impressed. Yep, they get right there and stay where they're supposed to. Yep. Okay, normally if I would give you a little kiss, but because your Here, you name is kiss. Snapper. Two girls at once. Yeah, <laughs> let's let them go. Ready? I think she was ready. Yeah. Yep. Let's see about this one. She wasn't feeling that kiss, Rick. No. She tried to get away. <laughs> she, as soon as you mentioned the kiss, she jumped off. She gone. She, <laughs> never see her again. Y'all feeling my pain? I know you are. It's another one in my life, little on the fish. smarty pants kid. That's what I got. Surrounded by smarty pants kids. Man. You have done a fine job like you always do, Mr. Mike. Thank you, sir. That was fun. You know, I was, we had a lot of fun today. I want to bring all the girls from my office and charter you one day and let them just wear okay. themselves out. Hey, let's go home. I'm ready for some tuna tacos and maybe a margarito. I'm thinking a nice cold Stella. It's the spot just right. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, man. You always my pleasure, great buddy. Job. Yeah. Sarah, thank you. Good job. All right, let's wrap this let's up. Let's go here. home. Keep up with the latest Sportsman's Adventures news and events by logging into our website at sportsmansadventures.com and following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Coming up next week on Sportsman's Adventures with Captain Rick Murphy. The guides in the Florida Keys say that bonefish are returning. Captain Brandon Sear takes us just off of Key West to show us the proof. Plus, we try to catch a Key West slam and it all comes down to the wire. Tune in to see what happens.